fish, Steven and TC. Some of the best guys you'll ever meet. Man, I tell you what. I wonder if y'all, can y'all see me? Y'all see me now. Hey! 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 I tell you what, God has really blessed this trip. I mean, my friend Heba, her mother, paid for two nights at a hotel for us in Redwood City, California like five minutes away from EA Studios and um, you know all glory to God through that I know he was mom would want all glory to go to God so um, that's why you know I say that and plus all glory does go to him and then last night Matt look Angela look Megan and their daughter Rayleigh and their son Marcus we all went to and, and my boys we all went to Rainforest Cafe and the Look family paid for everybody's meal, which was a blessing beyond belief. Um, we weren't expecting that. I mean, all glory to God again. Look family is, is focused on Christ, and so, you know, they would say all glory to God. And then last night, I got to see this girl that I've known on YouTube for like two years. and. Uh, we've had like a rough past like it's real rough um, But you know we were mature we squashed our beef and we hung out which was cool that we got to do that for a little bit uh, We actually did it for for a while a couple hours, but you know God's really convicted my heart about a lot of things and so you know I don't want to have grudges with anyone or anything like that and so you know we we both were made a mature decision to meet and I'm glad we did um, It was real good <laughs> it was awesome um, and then tonight after this uh, Heba the girl's mom who paid for the rooms uh, me and her are gonna fellowship have a little worship together um, she knows me from from you know Facebook and YouTube and all that I've never met her well I've never met anyone that I've met uh, this weekend but God's just continually blessing and so you know fellowshipping with with someone from from across the states coast to coast pretty much um she's been on the the west coast you know she lives over here um it's gonna be good just to to spend time together with the lord and with her and um uh, it'd be good fellowship and then uh tomorrow we leave so it was a blessing uh all glory to god i'm sure there'll be some more videos but we didn't make as many as we wanted to because, I mean, this trip has been one of those trips that you just kind of lose track of time. You're doing so much. So. See ya. All right, uh, I don't know how much you guys can see, but uh, as Bish said, we're on the ocean. Um, and I think, uh, I think right now, just standing here, I, I realize, you know, how much, how much this trip was worth it. Uh, you know, you hit a couple snags along the way. Some things got frustrating. I'm not gonna say I didn't have a great time, but you know, it's like times like this. You know, I don't know if you can see those guys down there or not. No, you can't. But uh, it's times like this that you, know, you just know that I don't know. You got to be at peace with the world. And there's just uh, you know, too much be beauty and, and power. You know, on these on this ocean. You know, small things that go wrong in a trip or with friends or in relationships, uh, you know, with parents or anything like that, that all that pales in comparison to to something like this. I mean, you got to figure on one road trip, you know, just besides going to Vegas and besides my actual research, on one one road trip, I saw the Mississippi River. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back even further. Appalachian Mountains, the Ohio River. The Mississippi River. I was on Route 66, saw stars as clear as night, literally. Um, saw desert in the Texas, never seen that before. Saw the edge of Rockies, never seen them before. Saw Lake Mead. Keep going further, you know, I've seen all the deserts, mountains in between, and here I am on the edge of the Pacific Ocean. I'm on the westernmost 
side of the United States. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, you know, a year ago, you tell me that I, I would have had the opportunity to uh, to come out here, see this, seen all that I've seen, and uh, experience all that I've been able to experience. I would have never believed it. I mean, this trip is like a dream come true. I, I, you know, I stand here, you know, with the ocean roaring behind me, and it's it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's just so much power in those waves. Uh, you know, the stars are so bright ahead of us. There's mountain ranges on either side, rocks everywhere. You know, I stand here. I may never see the Pacific Ocean ever again. You just never know. You know, I don't think that I'm going to, hopefully I don't die in the next day, but uh, knock on wood, that would be a terrible way to foreshadow my death. But, uh, but you know, you just never know. You know, you may never find time. You might get married. You might have kids. You might have a different job. You may never be able to do something like this again. And for that, it was worth it. You know, it's a time of fellowship with friends, uh, be able to experience something never been able to experience, see things I've never seen, do a little bit of schoolwork on the side. And it's just worth it. That's, I mean, that's all there is to it. Looking at, out at the Pacific Ocean, I you know, never would have thought. It's just, uh, it's just a tremendous blessing uh, to be there with your, your brother and friends. And, you know, I'm just, just at peace right now. I'm happy. I, feel like you know I want to get married and have kids but I feel like you know if I died right now I'd be at peace with the world I mean how can you not when you look at something like this I mean, how can anything else really matter um, there's just there's just nothing it's like all your problems get washed away I mean there's nothing that you really uh, how can how can you complain about anything in this world you look out at something like that it's a, it's a great experience. I'm glad I'm here. Um, I'll remember this uh, forever. I'll remember this this ocean, this this scenery, this video forever. Thanks. Uh, hey guys, it's Steven. Well, you probably know that because you know me. But anyways, um, we're here at the Pacific Ocean, like I'm sure everybody has said in the beginning of their videos. Um, just really cool, really powerful. Uh, you just really I don't know, the thing that comes to my mind, I think it's just just how beautiful God is and um, just how powerful He is. I mean, just these waves, you just hear them, they sound like thunder, and you just watch just the water shoot up, and there's just mist. It's just really, really cool, really powerful. Um, so it's just really, it's really been a cool trip. Uh, we got one more day, uh, just being with the guys, and just relaxing and just joking around and just having a good time and just experiencing things. Um, it's really neat. I've been really uh, blessed to be here. I'm glad that uh, they allowed me to come and uh, just to kind of experience this with them as well. So we're all just kind of standing down there on the beach. It's really cold. Uh, we're all in like our winter jackets and our hoods up and uh, my nose is running. <laughs> my ears are numb. but. Um, you just kind of forget about that when you just stand there and, and you're just in awe of the ocean and just the power of it and the beauty of it. So um, it's been cool and I look forward to tomorrow. Uh, I might come back again here when it's light out and be able to see out. It'll be kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, so we were just saying what's up and just kind of giving a little personal testimony of what we think. So really cool. Really glad I'm here. See ya. So uh, yeah, we're here, uh, it's our last day, just kind of to get to have a chance to look at the city. And, and I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get to see more of San Francisco, I really would have liked to explore it a little bit more. I uh, can't stress how awesome the West Coast Ocean is. Um, everyone should have a chance to go and see it, it's just awesome. Uh, great to surf on, great to... Uh, even just sit and watch and listen to. I can stay out here for hours just listening and watching the waves roll in. Uh, yeah, it is just it's a good trip, great trip. Uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, I don't think we really wear it on each other's nerves too much, hopefully. And um, yeah, I'm just really glad I came. Had a great time in Vegas. Had a good time out here. EA Games was a lot of fun. Uh, Really great just as a gamer to come in and talk to some of the people who create the games you like playing. Um, 
I know Matt just recently got to go check out Dragon Age 2. Hopefully that will inspire him to go and actually buy and play the game. One can dream, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, it was a great trip, great trip. Uh, I think we're just going to kind of chill and hang out and watch the ocean. And uh, tomorrow we got another day at EA Games. Uh, talking about the, uh, with the EP, talking about Medal of Honor. The, we're actually going to have an interview with the executive producer of Medal of Honor. A uh, guy who makes it all happen. Uh, I've got a lot of questions for him. And uh, Matt, it's going to be Matt's interview. This is his time to shine. Uh, this is where he's going to get most of his information for his thesis. So that'll be good for, great for him. Good for me too. Uh, playing Medal of Honor's single player campaign. Uh, I really liked going, you know, playing the Bagram Nation because uh, I've been there. I've actually got to see and experience what's going on there and like the scenery and. Uh, it'll be great just to talk to him, just to thank him for trying to keep it as authentic as he can, but, you know, obviously can't really make a game that's super realistic or else no one would buy it. It would be pretty fun to play. Um, but yeah, it was, had a lot of fun. Well, I think we might be going to get some food later. I hope so. I'm kind of hungry. But uh, I guess until next time.